What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest with me today, my beautiful mother. Today is her birthday and I wanted to do something special and do her makeup, show you guys how you can achieve this beautiful makeup when you have mature skin. You can definitely be glammed even at this beautiful age of my mother's. Don't be afraid to play with makeup. Makeup has no age or rules. I hope that you guys like it. I do give you guys a few tips, tricks on how to conceal some age spots that might appear, you know, a few wrinkles here and there. Don't be discouraged. I've got you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give my mom the big thumbs up for doing this for me, and please wish her a happy birthday down in the comments because it's her birthday today. And without further ado, let's get into my mom makeup tutorial. So we're going to start off with the eyes. And uh, my mom has her brows done, so no need to do brows. I'm going to prime her eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre. On her eyes, we're going to use the Manny MUA palette. We're going to set everything with this shade right here, and that shade is Beaches and Cream. Then we're going to move into Frappe, which is this shade right here for her transition. And all I'm doing is circular motions, outer outer corner to inner corner, windshield wipers, Next in her outer V, we're going to go in with this shade right here, and that shade is called Ferdite. And we're just going to place it on her outer V and in her crease. So we're going to produce like a V. And then all over her lid, we're gonna go in with Luna, which is this shade right here. I'm then gonna line her waterline with the NYX eyeliner, but I'm not gonna wing it out. For lashes, I'm going to go in with the Vegas Nay Lashes in Classic Charm. I'm going to put them on off camera and we will be right back. Moving on to the Brow Bowl Highlight, I'm going to go in with Artemis, which is this shade right here. So my mom for the most part has really good skin as you can tell she only has a few spots and she definitely has dark circles right here. She doesn't have a lot of redness around her nose which is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal her dark circles. And I'm just using the Makeup Forever color corrector in the shade Salmon. She does have one small uh, spot right there and here, so I'm going to go ahead and conceal that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and add some green.
but other than that she doesn't have that much discoloration and right here I blend it out with the beauty blender she has very smooth skin and she does have slight pores that are very noticeable that are noticeable they're not extreme for primer we're going to go in with the mac prep and prime and she has a uh, normal to dry skin for foundation we're going to go in with lancome tint idoli ultra 24 hour makeup this has an SPF of 15. I know I'm totally saying it wrong, but it will be down in the bottom bar. Foundation is also one shade too light for her, but we will fix it with bronzer. Again, we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender. This foundation gives her very flawless skin and almost rejuvenated a little bit. For concealer, we're gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Medium. And we're definitely gonna bring up the concealer to her temples so that it kind of gives her more of an eye lift effect set everything I'm gonna use my RCMA no color powder I'm only gonna set I'm not gonna bake because I don't want her to look uh, more aged under the eyes and that can happen if you bake to finish up the eyes we're gonna go back in with frappe and we're just gonna put that on the lower lash line and then going back in with that highlighter shade Artemis I'm going to add that for her inner corner just to really open up the eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm going to go ahead and warm up her face with Makeup Forever Pro Bronzer in the shade 35i. So I'm just trying to bring more warmth to her face. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Too Faced Sweet Tea, just a little bit, just to bronze her just a smidge. And then for blush, we're going to go in with MAC Warm Soul. And this is a very beautiful, almost neutral, everyday wearable blush. I'm going to add some face powder. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Press Powder in Warm Light. And I'm just going to hit that all over her face just to kind of blend the products together. So I'm only patting it because again I don't want her to look super powdery and super aged. Now most people at this age would prefer not to be highlighted but my mom loves being highlighted. So we're going to put some Becca Opal, have her highlight just a little. So we're just going to put it on the highest points of her cheeks just a little bit. The lips we're going to go in with Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in the shade Nudist Peach.
to lock everything, we're just gonna use e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Well guys, I hope that you guys like this makeup tutorial of me doing my beautiful mom's makeup. I hope that you guys learned a thing or two. And let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to wish my beautiful mother a happy birthday. And I'll see everyone in my next video. Bye!